so hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you about the dsot bridge so here uh, this is the upper turs for the dsot bridge you can see the circuit diagram on this upper turs so here it consists of two variable resistances r1 r2 and two capacitors c1 and c2 so dsot bridge is helpful to calculate the unknown capacitance with the standard known capacitance so here the known capacitance is c2 here you can see the two values of capacitances 0.1 microfarad and 0.01 microfarad and two variable resistances r1 r2 r1 is used uh, to apply using this knob it has uh, the range from 1 to 10 uh, that is multiplier of 100 ohm if you keep it at 1 it is 1 into 100 100 ohm if you keep it at 2 200 ohm like that you have to apply r1 and r2 is also a variable resistance here there are three multipliers for r2 so if you keep it at 1 let us say 1 it is 1 into 1000 1000 ohm if you keep it at 2 2 into 1000 2000 ohm and if you keep it at 1 1 into 100 100 ohm 200 ohm so this one is multiplier of 10 1 into 10 2 into 10 20 ohm if you add all these three 2000 plus 200 plus 20 nothing but 2220 ohm so like that you have to apply r2 so next uh, here is the on and off button and the unknown capacitor we, we can find out that is what the c1 which is connected across these two terminals so before going to start the experiment uh, we should follow the procedure here and this is what the digital null detector as i said d sorted bridge works on the principle of null deflection so it uh, once uh, the bridge is balanced you are going to have the digital null detector which reads zero value uh, it must uh, read zero reading or either uh, zero to point zero eight means minimum value nothing but zero reading that's why it is called null detector so first we have to connect the input terminals that is what uh, the c2 capacitance c2 uh, let us keep it at 0 0.01 microfarad and uh, connect the input terminals uh, across uh, D terminal to verify the D sorted bridge or uh, to balance the D sorted bridge. So positive to the positive terminal and negative to the negative terminal. So next uh, you have to keep this R1, let us take it as 100 ohm, 1 into 100 and switch on the, uh, before that you should make R2 0 and uh, you must keep it R1 at 100 ohm and switch on and uh, C2 is at 0 0.01 microfarad. So let us switch on the device. So once you switch on you can see the digital null detect reading it is right now 8.52 so it must read 0 so at what value of r1 and r2 we can make it let us see so we will keep this r2 at 1000 ohm you can see the value has decreased let us keep it at 2000 ohm still it is 2.64 it is decreased so at 3000 ohm it is 0.57 okay so if you go to the 4000 it is increasing so let us keep it at 3000 ohm let us uh, use the multiplier of 100 keep it at 100 so 0.42 it is it has decreased so 0.27 it has decreased again so 0.14 so it is zero okay 
that means here you can see the formula c1 is equal to r2 by r1 into c2 let us do the calculation uh, so that we can find out the unknown capacitance c1 so here r2 is how much 3000 this is 400 ohm 3400 ohm and r1 is how much 100 ohm so c1 is 0 0.01 microfarad so i have written here the formula so let us substitute 3400 ohm divided by 100 ohm into 0 0.01 microfarad so this get cancelled and it is how much 0.34 microfarad so this is what the unknown capacitance c1 so like that uh, we can also find out uh, by keeping c2 at 0 0.1 microfarad then uh, we must uh, also get 0.1 3 4 microfarad for the standard capacitance c2 point at point 0.1 microfarad let us uh, verify that so bridge must be balanced when it shows the reading null detector shows the zero reading so before that bring back all these knobs at zero keep it at point 0.1 microfarad and let us keep it at 100 ohm and switch on the device so you can see it is 8.16 so let us apply r2 here so it is at 0 0.1 microfarad so it is decreasing 8 point it is initially at 8.13 if i keep it at 1000 ohm 8.03 so if i apply 2000 ohm it is increasing so let us keep as it is what 1000 ohm let us apply this one 100 multiplier so it is again increasing so let us uh, take this one it is decreasing very slightly not that much so let us keep it zero um, 10 multiplier and it is 100 ohm let us verify r1 where is the r1 so 200 it is decreasing so 300 you can see it is almost zero nothing but the value must be between 0 to 0 0.08 so it is 0 0.04 that means at uh, the value of r1 that is 300 ohm and r2 that is at 1000 ohm and uh, value of c2 that is 0 0.01 microfarad once we calculate uh, the value of c1 we come to know that bridge is bridge has balanced so that means the null detector should show the reading almost 0 0 to 0 0.08 it is 0 0.04 so let us do the calculation for c1 for uh, but uh, by applying so again same formula we have to use to calculate the unknown capacitance c1 here uh, for this uh, 1000 divided by 300 ohm r2 is 1000 ohm r1 is 300 ohm into 0 0.1 microfarad so again we are going to get uh, the unknown capacitance that is 0 0.33 microfarad so for both the cases um, uh, the c2 at 0 0.01 microfarad and 0.1 microfarad we got the unknown capacitance nearly same 0.34 microfarad and 0.33 microfarad that means the unknown capacitance of uh, the desorted bridge uh, that is uh, 0.33 microfarad so like that you can calculate the unknown capacitance using desorted bridge